A while ago on Google Earth, I saw what appeared to be some interesting things around these cliffs. Mostly circle type things with small piles of rocks next to them. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but these things could indicate some ruins. So I went to check it out. It was a long drive and a huge gamble, but I was very surprised by what I found. For this trip, I drove from St. George, Utah to southeastern Utah, where I would make my base camp. It's about a 325 mile journey, or about 523 kilometers, and would take me roughly about 6 hours. Oh, and I made an emergency stop in the city of Kanab to buy some breakfast foods that I forgot to get. Got them. Nice little campground here. The worst thing is though is that this road right there, all night, super loud. These trucks going up and down. But other than that, it's a nice little campground. Alright. excited about these ones. So on Google Earth, uh, it looked like there were just tons of piles of rocks everywhere that were kind of the same color. And so to me, that seems like that's not uh, natural. And so I was hoping that these would be some ruins and uh, the road kind of comes down this other side. And as I was coming down, I just knew they were ruins. So I'm really excited to explore these because there seems to be a lot of them. So I'm here again in the uh, Four Corners region of the United States. This is the Ancestral Pueblo, or Anasazi. Uh, this is their area, or at least from 750 to about 1100 and more. So I'm suspecting that these are probably from them, about a thousand years ago or so. Part of a horseshoe. Looks like it was a circular ruin or something. Oh wow, look at that piece. That is cool. Found another piece right here. This might have been a tower. Oh, looks like there's something down there too. show you a really cool piece I found. It's a big curved piece, the top of the pot right here. Little design. Huh. There's just pieces all over. This is just a sample of what some of the pots could have looked like. This was a long drive to get here, but this is just really exciting. It's just, there's so much to see. And every pottery piece is different too. I'm just finding um, what they call uh, black on white and then white on black. I'm finding like some orange stuff too, uh, just gray. I mean, I could easily spend probably a couple hours just looking at all this stuff right here. Look, this is the top part of the pot. The broken pottery. Interesting, huh? which is called potsherds, was one of the highlights of this visit. I even found a handle to what could have been a cup or a jug, which is very rare to find. I love the pottery because it tells a story. Somebody made this, someone's hands were on this, forming this, making this, painting this, and seeing them a thousand years later uh, destroyed on this hillside. I feel a little bit of reverence. It's kind of weird, huh? Hope you're enjoying this so far. This is really fun. Seeing all this stuff right here. Okay, I just realized I spent 30 minutes looking at pottery. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go up here and check out these things up here. Look at all those rocks that came down. These are once part of structures. Once a part of a wall or a building or tower or something. So I'm gonna go up there and check out all this stuff. This thing would have been massive. I mean, this whole area has rocks falling down, even up there and on top of this thing too. This area was a huge city. It's even a cave right there. I just noticed that. Should we go inside? Yeah, there's bones in there. Whoa! Oh, what scared me? Oh, it's the entrance, right? in. Interesting. Probably can't see it very well, but it goes down there. Like I can see down below that. Uh, yeah, keeps going. I mean, not too far, you know. This is interesting. Kind of speechless <laughs> trying to figure out uh, this place and I know I can't but I'm just trying to get a good understanding of of you know just kind of let it all sink in oh, look at this thing do you think they cut this it's possible very possible <laughs> and maybe it's just me but this looks like it was built up too to make it like an easy staircase you can see like different layers of rocks Look at this wall right here. Or maybe this is a building of some kind. Honestly, I'm thinking I might need another visit. <laughs> I'm still on this one side and I'm just kind of going through everything. There's just so much to see. This cave was made. Huh. Yeah, it does. Oh, this is interesting. So they put rocks there. And then rocks right here. There's even mortar on them. Huh. Here's this little cave right here. You can see they walled the entrance. It's the original entrance. And there's a uh, black from uh, fires. Okay, so I'm losing daylight. I haven't explored everything and I still want to drone it. So I think I'm gonna go back to the car, get the drone and explore that other side. I'm just surprised at how little rock art, I haven't seen any rock art out here yet. Hey, look at this wall. Use these large stones, then this mortar in between. They sometimes put rocks in between the mortar, like right here. Okay, you know how I was talking about petroglyphs? These are the first ones I've seen so far. Are they bird feet? Are they some type of plant? This was a massive community. It had many towers, many cliff dwellings. These people would have had access to steady sources of water nearby too, for planting many different types of crops. This just looks like another tower. There wasn't a set trail on this adventure, so this was what I did.
pretty tired. Been up since like 6.30 today. Got my pads and my pillows. I got two pads, three pillows, two blankets, and a sleeping bag. So I'm gonna be nice and warm tonight. This has been a very fun trip and I'm looking forward to taking a shower. It's been nice having you with me. 